Good afternoon. I'm your ethics teacher, Nick Michael Lusso, and today we are going to go through our mid-semester review of what we've studied in the class so far. The first question we should consider is, why study ethics at all? Why are we making you do this? Why are they making you take this class? Ultimately, the end, the aim, is to increase justice, peace, security, and prosperity for ourselves and for those among whom we live. That seems like a worthwhile goal to me. Now, in the course of pursuing this end, we have discussed some paradigms. I have three videos about the, par the main paradigms of ethics, virtue ethics, deontological ethics, and consequentialist ethics. But paradigms are ways to organize our ideas and to rank and judge their effectiveness of our ideas and the strategies. And the whole, the whole point of doing this is, of course, to achieve justice, peace, security, prosperity for those among whom we live and for ourselves. That's the whole aim, and the paradigms are the way of organizing those things. Now, in the course of uh, this semester, we have uh, discussed, we have studied various thinkers from the history of philosophy. Let's discuss those thinkers now, briefly, and talk about their most helpful ideas. Helpful in achieving our end. first thing we, talk, we talked about was Socrates. And Socrates' most helpful idea is that we should examine ourselves, examine ourselves critically. We should mean what we say. We should be consistent. We should be true to our word. That's what we get from studying Socrates. From Plato, we get that we should have ideals. We should imagine these ideals so we have something to live up to, something to shoot for. We have some plan in mind. So we need to imagine those ideals so we can make our own world match the ideal world more closely. From Aristotle, the helpful ideas are that we are community beings. We are not beings that just live alone like great white sharks or um, things like that. So we are community beings. That is part of our nature, says Aristotle. Another thing Aristotle says, very important, is that who we are, our very natures, are shaped by what we do. So because who we are is shaped by what we do, we should do right. That's what we get from Aristotle. From Epictetus, Okay, from Epictetus we, we get that we can't control, that is we can't always control, we can't always control what happens to us, but we can always control how we respond to what happens to us. So he says that if things make us upset, it's us choosing to let ourselves be made upset. So we can always choose how we respond, and we should choose to respond calmly and to be at peace with things. From Augustine, we learn that life is beset with troubles. But evil isn't its own thing. It's actually only good that isn't there. So the darker things seem, the more we need the light. If we can supply the light, then the darkness flees before us. That's what we get from Augustine. From Aquinas, we get that we are all human beings. All human beings share a common nature which means that even those who seem most different from us are people like us. They're just like us. They want the same things that we are. So we should treat those people as being people just like us. From Immanuel Kant, we learn that we should do what we want everyone to do. If we want people to treat us fairly, if we want people to treat other people fairly, then we need to treat people fairly. If we want people to tell us the truth, if we want other people to tell the truth, then we need to tell the truth. So we should do what we want everyone to do, and we should never treat people as things. Things are, we, 
we invent things but as a means to an end, but people are not like that. People have their own inherent value, and we need to remember that and treat them as such. From John Stuart Mill, we learn that each of us counts as much as any other. We count as much as they do, they count as much as we do, and we should, in our conduct, strive to maximize happiness or minimize misery for as many as we can, for all. That's what we learn from Mill. And from, from Martin Luther King, we learn that sometimes being for justice means being against the law. So he says we should be brave and we should choose justice. Those are the thinkers we have covered in ethics so far this semester. Thank you.